that Susan is intelligent and crazy and evil. But this beautiful life has ugly secrets. She would be what you would call, in a current term, a cougar. She was going out with her son's high school classmates. Suzanne isn't just dabbling with the odd boy toy. She is working her way through the neighborhood. Just going through them one after another. Her sexual conquests are fueled by powerful mind-bending drugs. She started doing acid, peyote, hash. The first time she took LSD, she woke up in the morning and the house was absolutely painted with triangles, signed Suzanne. But the drugs alone aren't causing her delusions. Suzanne is also mentally ill. Suzanne was having visual hallucinations. This is a very, very serious symptom. Probably of schizophrenia, which is a thought disorder. It is the most serious mental illness known to mankind. It's a lethal cocktail pushing Suzanne to the brink. The drugs and the sex shatter her marriage, but Suzanne doesn't care. She finds her perfect lover, James Michael Carson, who becomes her new husband. They both describe meeting as just, you know, instant electric attraction. Suzanne thought she was a witch. She thought she was going crazy. and unstable. They become paranoid about witchcraft and determined to stamp it out. Deluded, they cast themselves as cult leaders. But the trouble started when Michael became very attracted to this young disciple of theirs. It is a dangerous place to be for the young woman. She's a witch, you know. <laughs> Suzanne doesn't wish to share her man, and she has the perfect excuse to get rid of her rival. The couple goes on the run. In the couple's deluded world, even their boss is a threat. I call it your job to get him out of here. Suzanne felt slighted or insulted by a man, so she orders Mike to kill him. That's grandiosity. The couple hit the road again, but anyone can be a target. We're gonna have to kill him. Here coming. As soon as they got into the pickup truck with Hellier, there were problems. Michael pulls out the gun. Immediately, John grabs the gun, and they're wrestling with the gun. They come to a screeching stop. John jumped out to run for his life. Get up the car! And Susan and Michael proceeded to both stab and shoot him on the side of the road. And John died on the side of the road. But there will be one more twist. Why did you do it? Suzanne and Michael promise to confess all at a public press conference. They are sentenced to a total of 75 years to life. Michael and Susan, I think, were like dynamite in a match. Susan has bragged about being friends with the Manson girls in prison. Neither of these people feel any remorse whatsoever. 